the final cut by Robin Williams. Oh, what is this? Happiness is over. Not final cut. Robin Williams, Jim Caviez, the one that was in Person of Interest, the TV series. I think it was in Passion of Christ as well. Uh, and also done the Prisoner remake TV show. So I never ever heard of this film before, and I, I've I've often big fan Robin Williams's acting, right since Awakening, and. I remember before he died, he used uh, he used to say he was never get given the film roles that he wanted. You know, he was always being forced into these roles that he didn't. So I was always interested in uh, in finding hopefully these films that I've never seen him. Uh, you know, I have never heard of that stars him and something completely different. You know, like uh, I remember the. I can't remember the name of the film, but he starred as a, f a one hour photo. That was a one hour photo way. And then he also played a bad guy in, in Al Pacino's Insomnia and stuff like that. So I'm always on the lookout. And the final cut, wow, fantastic. And it, it, it kind of follows my philosophy as well, you know, because it's all about the film, is all about once you are born, everything is recorded through your eyes and stuff and when you die basically your whole life is on this sort of disc so when you get cremated you can look at just about any aspect of your life and put it on video and stuff like that and I just thought, that's brilliant but then again it raises the questions you know what about the times you don't want other people to know the private times when you're with your loved one or with your own loved one and yourself when you're doing things you don't want anybody else to know about all your thoughts and feelings and everything else okay so it's, some things should should not be out there for the public so it raises so many questions like that and and then you you feel that you can become addictive addicted to this sort of lifestyle where you are looking into everybody else's life and you don't have a life yourself and uh, there's certain laws and rules that you have to obey when you're one of these people right you know you can't like take it to court uh, which was surprising in the film there was no su such thing as and i never seen any police even though there was um you know people getting killed or Rumours, you think, well, if they've got it all in the eye, can they, can they not like solve crimes here? There's, there's a, a, there's a story in it where it involves a man and a young girl, his daughter, basically. I'm not saying any more, but you would think if some accusations were flying about, then, you know, all the police will have to do is get that testimony. But of course, before you can take that out, I believe the way the film was portraying, you have to be dead before you can extract it. So it's kind of, whoops, we made a mistake. He didn't do it sort of thing. You know, we shouldn't have shot him first, you know. So it's, um, but again, Robin Williams uh, portray in this as a man who is with guilt of a tragedy that happened when he was a kid. And it's funny how, and I've often said this, when the things that we do in our childhood and everything else shapes us to what we are uh, as adults. And, and sometimes what we can remember of that certain incident could also have, and could also be, be the reality of it could change because of... Uh, our guilt you know because we feel guilty we will change the actual events that happen and then because of that we will forever you know be controlled by that further down the line and it's only by chance you know the evidence is there in your head but of course you cannot see it yourself or can you but so 
my verdict of this film. It's two thumbs up. Quite enjoyed it. Quite loved the aspect. It's it's sad that this fine actor has left us because we we know that he had so much problems in his own uh, social life. You know, with the way again Robin Williams, he was he was playing somebody that that felt guilty in his childhood, and I think we all believe now that it was because of his childhood that he became the great comedian that he was. Okay, so so as I say, uh, yeah, check the film out, check the ideas. I'll be posting this video also onto my Anna Mind channel because I believe there is a message there and that message would be, you know, just don't hold on to the past. Let it go, right? Because you cannot, you cannot really believe in your own self's ideas of what actually happened. You you blame yourself because of, you know, you're thinking of yourself as an adult. Maybe something you did when you were younger. You were a kid. You didn't know any better, and we will continuously pur purposely condemn ourselves because of the stuff that we did in our past and we've got to let go of our past and move on uh, to the future and as I said these is why these are private moments because we are trying to shape ourselves into better beings and the only way we can shape ourselves into better beings is by trying to avoid the mistakes of the past everything else so thanks very much for watching if you have a film uh, idea that you want me to watch please leave it in the comments or if you go to my other channel the inner mind um, and you've got something anything you want to discuss or talk about or hear my thoughts and feelings about uh, go to that channel as well or about life ideas. Thanks for watching.